how can we create as many value added opportunities and events to, to give people the chance to, like we said, to, to meaningfully connect. And I think networking has sometimes this negative stipulation about it of like, okay, like it's so transactional, right? Networking is just like, well, how can, you know, how can I help someone or how can they help me, right? And this kind of give and take. And then realistically, we're just, again, trying to get back to the basics of, hey, like it's in many ways, it's kind of hard to, to make new friends and connections, right? When you, the older you get, the less time that you're going out socially, whether it was through university or through work. And so how can you kind of get back to developing these connections with people without having to worry like, oh, are they just talking to me because they want me to invest in their company or because they want me to help them complete a user interview, right? Or something like that. Yeah, that's the importance of win-win uh, relationships in general. So, um, and the concept of karma, if you will, right? So a lot of times <clears throat> transactional people are thinking in terms of, you know, what can I get out of this person? I might give you something if I can get something, but that's totally the wrong approach. Um, even if you could help people without even, even trying to receive anything in return, you're creating, you know, I think, you know, good relationships between people, good word of mouth, and you're building a reputation, which at the end, end of the day, uh, reputation is cornerstone to who you are as an individual and a business professional. Uh, so the importance of thinking in terms of when-when every single time you meet somebody is not only better for them, but it's also better for you in the long term as well, which seems counterintuitive to the people trying to get something today. 